Hello, my name is Janine, and I'm here for a very serious subject, and I'm going to tell how it is. Jesus was never afraid to say how it is. He wasn't afraid to say the truth. He didn't want to be popular. He was just saying it like it is, and that's what I'm doing today. When he was around the money changers, when he was around those people doing the wrong thing in his father's temple, he didn't just go, oh, you guys, that's not nice. No, he didn't. He knocked the change over. He got the whip out. He called them names. He said, you guys are dead man's bones filled with, um, you're going to, you're taking, taking the dead with you. I can't even talk straight. <laughs> okay, well, you know what I'm saying. He said, you're going to hell and taking others with you. Basically what he said. And that's what I'm here today. I'm going to talk about how it is. And I don't care if anybody likes what I say or not. Because you know what? I just have to speak the truth. And there's going to be people who don't like what I say. And you know what? Too bad. Because I'm just saying what the Word of God says. If you don't like me, you don't like the Word of God. That's the bottom line. And the thing is, there's, it says in the last days that wickedness would abound. Well, I'm seeing that. And, but the thing is, I didn't think it would happen in the church. But I guess that's the first place that the devil has to attack is the church. So I've been seeing it with pastors. I mean, pastors who, who, and I'm not trying to be a church hopper, there's pastors that say things like, um, they use the Lord's name in vain, and then when they're confronted with it nicely, their pride says, no, I don't think I was wrong to call God a name. Wait a minute, you're a pastor. What the, what's that about? Okay, and then one guy saying the hell's a nice party. No, it's not. Hell's a fire. Okay, so the thing is, all the basic things that we knew growing up, it's the same. It hasn't changed. The Word of God does not change. The Bible says we're not to add or subtract from it. We're to read exactly what it says. But here's the thing that's shocking to me. It says in the last days, there'll be perilous times, and if possible, even the elect would be deceived. And I think I know what that means, because the, the, the devil has the non-believers. He's got them in the palm of his hand. He's not going after them. He's going after the body of Christ. Because it talks about a great falling away. And I think I know why. But here's the thing. It's, it's amazing to me. And that's why I'm doing this today. Because it's amazing to me to see so many Christians deceived into so many things. And they think it's okay. Well, here's the thing. When you repent, the word repent means that you're sorry for your sins. And you're going to do a 360. You're going to turn around and go the other direction. So after you've been a Christian for a while, after you've been married to Jesus or you love the Lord, why would you want to sin? Why would you want to even be on the devil's territory and play games with him? And there's people out there that are, that are deceived enough, that are, that are gullible enough, that, oh, well, this church did it, so it must be okay. No, it's not okay. Paul said to check out what he said according to the Word of God. And the Word of God he had back then was the Torah, the first five books of the Bible. So he was saying to check out what he did. Now, Paul said that. How much more should we do that to the, the, the teachers nowadays that are teaching? Okay? And I know I'm probably going to upset some people because I've, I've tried to confront this in a nice way to someone they just didn't get it. Okay? You don't want to send a mixed message. Okay? So now the things, if you're a Christian... Why would I go to the church of Satan, put a Satan clothes on, and say, Hey, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian with my Satan clothes on. No, you're not. If you're a Christian, you're a Christian through and through, outside and inside. You don't have going down one street and down the other. You don't cuss and have the say in nice words in your mouth at the same time. Bible says so. Okay? So, the thing is, the Bible talks against soothsaying, and necromancing. If you don't know what those words are, get in the Bible and read it. Okay? That's talking about fortune-telling, horoscopes, and palm reading. All of that is of the devil, and it carries demons with it. That's witchcraft. Okay? So why would I want to have a crystal ball, which you know is of witchcraft, and say, hey, I'm going to have Bible scriptures with my, with my crystal ball. Hey, hey, hey. No. Wrong is wrong. And the bottom line is, this thing that came out recently about fortune cookies with Bible scriptures, that's not of God. Fortune cookie, fortune telling. Think, you, think about it. Do you think fortune telling? 
That's not of God. Why would you want a witchcraft thing with scripture? It still makes it wrong. Because it's a mixed message to the people who don't know any better. Because then the people who don't know any better think, Oh, I can be a Christian and go to a church of Satan. Or I can go and do astrology. Or I can go do um, all this other stuff. No. What's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. And those are wrong. Drugs are wrong. Drugs, the Bible is re related to as pharmacia. There's Christians out there who think, hey, it's okay to be a Christian and get high. Where does the Bible say that? It doesn't say. It says to be sober-minded, not to get high. So that the thing is also, it says that, that pharmacia, look this up. Pharmacia is the same as witchcraft, drugs. So people who are getting high on drugs think it's okay? Wait a minute. How is that okay? And there's people out there thinking, I can smoke marijuana. And it's okay. But yet, they don't realize something. It's still illegal if you don't have the card. But the thing is, that's an, a poor excuse. Because marijuana is a hallucinogenic. It is a drug the same as acid. And it's been uh, proven that acid can actually open up a little thing in your mind and let a demon come in. So why would you want to possess yourself? Why would you want to smoke pot? Why would you buy Bible get talks against, against drinking? Yes, it does. It says it's debauchery. Debauchery is to be made a fool of. That's right. And if you're of God, why would you want to make... The Bible says don't let your good be evil spoken of. So why would you want to get drunk? How can you call yourself a Christian and go to a bar? Even the world knows. Oh, that person calls themselves a Christian. And now they're getting drunk. Oh, that person calls themselves a Christian. They're getting high on cocaine and pot. That's not of God. Come on. You either walk with God or you don't. And if you're not walking with God, guess where you're going? The Bible says so. With some of the things it says that are not going to be going to heaven, it says drunkards are not going to heaven. That's right, drunkards, adulterers, people that are having sex outside of marriage. Yeah, fornicators, sex outside of marriage, or, or, or cheating on your husband or wife. Cheating, that's right. Liars, okay? All the things the Ten Commandments talks about, putting God first, dying no idolatry, having nothing else before God. All this is so clear. And if you're doing these things, you're not going to get into heaven unless you repent. And I don't care if you claim to be a Christian. You better repent of that sinful way because it's sin. Okay? And, that, and that the thing is, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Yes, he did. And we are forgiven. But the thing is, you have to ask God to forgive you for these sinful ways and you have to get away from them. No more drugs. No more getting high. No more going to an, a, a, um, a bar. Okay? There's no place for a Christian in a bar. Okay, what do you think? Do you think Jesus would go to a bar? Do you think Jesus would be over there? Come on, give me, give me a doobie, man. Do you think he'd be doing that? He wouldn't be doing that. You have to ask yourself what Jesus would do. And I'll tell you what, I believe he's with me 100% today in doing this because he is against this. And so am I. Come on, you either walk with God or you don't. Quit playing the games, okay? The wicked are going to go to hell. Are you going to go with them? Yes, a Christian can go to hell. You ask, can a Christian go to hell? Yes, they can. Because a person who claims to be a Christian claims but doesn't walk with God, maybe they're not really saved. Because a saved person, you're going to know them by the fruits. Jesus said so. And he even said on that day of judgment, there's going to be people that are going to come to him and go, but God, didn't I do this? Didn't I you know, raise the dead? Didn't I do this? And blah, blah, blah. You know, prophesied, blah, blah. And, and God's going to go, hey, I don't even know who you are, man. Get lost. And they're going to go to hell. So these are people claiming to be Christian. So you know what? If you're doing these things, you might want to question yourself about the sinful ways that you're doing things. Because, and now sometimes people don't know any better. People don't know that astrology is witchcraft. Yes, it is. It's witchcraft. You don't need anything to do with that because you know what? It's false prophecy. The Bible is the only thing we need. The Bible is the truth. Nothing else is the truth. Okay? If you're getting into astrology, that's not the truth. That's like the Quran or something like that. Okay? It's not the truth. The Bible is the only truth that you need. You don't need a lie. Okay? And the thing is, also, fortune telling. Yeah, I heard about these fortune telling cookies that have Bible, the Bible scripture. That's a mixed message. Why would you want a satanic thing with the word of God in it? That's just ridiculous. I'm sure the devil's even laughing at that. Going, <laughs> Got them suckers! Don't be a sucker. Think about what you're doing. And just because a big company with a lot of money and has a big name is doing it doesn't make it right. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Walk in God. Listen to His Word. Listen to His Word. Read it. Study it. 
study the Word of God. Rightly dividing the Word of God. So you know what this, that means? That you will know the truth. You know, because if you study the Word, not just reading, it doesn't say read it, the Bible says study. Study the Word. You know why? Because you may walk in a church someday, and that pastor might be doing something that's against the Word of God, and what you need to do is kick it to the curb. That's right. Say, oh, you know what? You don't need to get into a big deal about it, but if that church is not teaching the Word, the true gospel, the 100% gospel, you need to get up and walk out of that church and never return. Okay? Because the Bible says in the last days, there's going to be the message of demons. They're going to come into these pastors, and these pastors, because they want to be popular, they want money, they don't care about the truth, they're going to be teaching doctrines of devils. And those with itchy ears are going to be sucking it up. Oh, yeah, I like that idea. Think about it. What does the Word of God say? Listen to God's Word, not man's Word, okay? And God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.